here today, we're at the Bucken River and we're looking at a newly constructed rock ramp fishway. The barrier at the top of the fishway is used to supply potable water to the township of Bucken. This fishway was constructed to help a whole range of native fish get from downstream to upstream, and again, from upstream to downstream. It'll help the passage of a range of species, including our large bodied species like Australian bass and eels, and through to our medium and small bodied fish like galaxids, gudgeons, and chupong. Importantly, it'll provide fish passage for the Australian grayling, which is a nationally threatened species and is found in the Snowy and Buchan rivers. By constructing this fishway, we've opened up an additional 120 kilometres of river to fish that they previously couldn't get to. The process to get to where we are today has taken about three and a half years, and that involved a detailed design process to understand how and what way we could build the fishway, some really detailed planning to work out the logistics of the construction of the fishway and monitoring both before and after to understand how the fishway is working. This project has been funded through the Victorian government's $238 million commitment to improving waterway health across regional Victoria. For this particular project, because of the width of the river, we're able to get the fishway the full width of the river channel. Uh, it helps to protect and armour the river banks and the bed, uh, but it also means the fish can't miss the fishway. With other styles of fishway, what happens is that you have to have an entrance that's tucked off to the side and you have to create conditions so the fish are able to find that entrance. Being the full width of the river, the fish can't miss this fishway. They can only you know, go up the river and right the way through it. What we've used is really quite large rocks. So this rock here, um, you know, it's probably actually about as tall as I am, so about 1.5 to 1.8 metres long. And we buried it into the ground. And so the big rocks buried in, just the top showing out. And then we've got a fill of rock around the base of this rock to make sure that it doesn't move. I fully expect that in 10 years time, that this fishway will look exactly like this does today. It's a pile of rocks. There's actually a lot more to it than that. And so, as you can see over in here, we've got a, a riffle that's got quite a deep column of water, and that's specifically been put there for the big fish to come through, so when we get big bass coming back upstream. On the edge, we've got quite shallow water, and that slows the water down, produces a heap of roughness that the fish can uh, come up and they can hide behind when they're very small and make their way up through those riffles. Another thing we try and do is make sure that the pathway for the fish is the smallest possible. So when you're only this big, actually swimming against this uh, fast flow through here, it's quite hard work. You've got to sprint that entire way. We, we'd like to have a very short pathway through here, so fish will be coming up through here. Once they get to about there, the water's slowed right down. Whereas on this place here, the water's quite fast all the way. And you've got to work very hard to get through that uh, short distance. What we've seen in the last hour or so is the river has uh, risen quite substantially, gone from about 90 megalitres a day up to 420 megalitres a day. And that's engaged uh, at the edges of the ramp and put a lot of flow down the middle of the ramp. And so a lot of people look at that and they think, oh no, the fish can't get through anymore because it's too much water. No, what happens is that the fish are actually moving up along the edges of the ramp now. So there's a really good pathway up along the edge of the ramp um, that all the fish are able to utilise. And whilst the main flow comes down through the middle of the ramp, the fishway that we've built here today is to help reduce predation. So we just saw that in uh, real time just downstream where one of the shags showed up uh, and then herded the fish up below the ripple and uh, was able to charge through those fish and, and get himself a good meal. By building the fishway, we're able to get the fish through and upstream quickly so that they're not predated on by those birds. And so we spread them out throughout the river system and make it uh, much less easy for them to, to take large numbers of fish out of the river. That's the key aspect to all of this. So we're trying to maintain biodiversity within the river. And so by maximising the number of fish that we're able to pass upstream and spread them right the way throughout the river system, they can uh, undertake their full life cycle, uh, maintain their populations, and also ensure the genetic integrity of the fish species upstream and downstream from the barrier. The design has come up really well, exactly how we thought it would look. Um, and you know, the sampling that we're doing at the moment is demonstrating that we're getting good numbers of fish upstream through the fishway, which is excellent.